Okay, so by popular demand, I'm gonna watch a do-it-yourself surgery video and react to it while I watch it. I haven't seen this before, so hopefully it'll be good. We'll see what happens. Hopefully nobody gets hurt in the whole thing, so stay tuned. So on this mobile edition of High on Spirit, we're gonna be exploring home medicine in a, in a new fashion. So what, what about, you know, when you have something going on? I love this because I love it when people take uh, control of their own health and educate themselves. I'm not sure if I'll agree with him taking the knife to himself, but we'll see. Uh, but you feel like, you know, I could probably take care of this myself. Most people would go to the doctor, but I'm not necessarily trying to go through all that when I've got, you know, perfectly competent <laughs> dude right behind me who's willing to... Uh... This, the dude behind him has a... Uh... Uh, has a little uh, mask on, a non-medical mask and uh, and goggles. I'm not sure how much help he's going to be unless they're going to do this in the pool. Yeah. Into me. And I also have another friend right here behind who's willing to film the thing and commentate <laughs> on it during the whole process. So, you know, have no fear. Now, Don't worry. There's, there's you know. The kitchen there without a shirt on. So I'm not sure if this is the best, most uh, sterile place to be doing this surgery, but. Have no fear. Don't worry. There's, there's, you know, I got s clean syringes, right? I bought these right off of Amazon. So don't worry. This is totally, this is totally safe. That's sterile. That's about as sterile as you can get. Number 10 blades, not syringes. I think uh, he's got his um, equipment terminology mixed up a little bit, but let's not hold that against him. Right there. I'm not going to get more sterile thing? than that. Is that hooked up to your, uh... I got some uh, syringe <laughs> and needle just to, uh, you know, flush it what, afterwards what with some colloidal silver. I don't know. This is the number 10. It's just, uh, it was... I'm oh. not going to flush it with colloidal silver. They're going to flush it with normal saline. But again, uh, I'm not going to hold it against him that his uh, terminology is a little off. Let's follow along and see how to do this. Yeah, you know what? What's the well, it's from our sponsor. <laughs> it's from our sponsor, MedPride, you know? Uh, and they are a quality instrument. If this, uh, <laughs> if this surgery is a success, you know, we're, we're definitely going to report that, and you'll see it here live. And, you know, you will get to know that MedPride is the way to go when it comes to syringes. Number 10, so that's, that's the one you want. So, uh, all right. Now, the thing is, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and... um. Can you uh, can you show the the viewers for those that can? That are... I think they should have premedicated the viewers with an anti-emetic because I'm getting nauseous watching him move the camera around. Several years now, and uh, you know we've tried acupuncture, we've tried plenty of plant medicine. I've tried rubbing crystals on it. You tried CBD. I haven't really uh, tried that now. He hasn't tried the CBD yet. Well, no, We're I, mean, right I, I have ingested thing. plenty of CBD. But no, directly on it. Like no, the CBD no, but the I don't know how an acupuncture needle would make a cyst go away or uh, putting any topical product would make a cyst go away. This is basically a pore. The skin goes down the pore. If skin gets, as the skin grows, the skin cells exfoliate off just like they do on the surface, but inside the pore, if they don't come out of the pore, then they'll collect and form a cyst eventually, and that's what's happened here. So nothing is gonna make that go away except removing it. It's like the world's largest blackhead sort of thing. I think it's deeper. It. I think it's deeper. Well, we're gonna have to I do that afterwards. We need, after the oh, removal. Well, afterwards, for sure. We're also gonna use colloidal. Here's the fatal flaw with this whole plan is that the fellow who has the uh, YouTube channel is the smart one. And everybody else is his buddy. And I don't think is quite as adept as he is. And this thing is not on the front where he can see it. It's on the back. So when push comes to shove, it's not going to be him doing the surgery. It's going to be somebody else because he's not going to be able to reach back like this and do it. You know, east and the west, you know, we don't work for it. So, uh, all right, let's, let's get down to business. Yeah, let's get down to business. Okay. So those are light duty single use. You sure you don't want heavy duty ones? I think we'll be all right. All right, fine. fine. <laughs> so he's putting on gloves that are uh, non-sterile gloves. The only thing that's gonna do is protect the... Oh, 
I'm watching the. I, I'm watching. I'm doing a reaction video. They're doing. It's like Keep these going, four guys in the in rural Maine Keep doing going. surgery on themselves. They're doing surgery on themselves. Yeah. I would not let this guy near me with a Wait, finger like good. that. What are they gonna do? Okay. He's got a sebaceous cyst on the back of his oh, neck. Oh, these are my. Okay, okay, okay. These are. I thought you were gonna say these are your ex boyfriends. No, Okay. All right. He's. Is he? There we go. We're all set. They've got peroxide, they've got no, number 10 I'm sterile blades, they've got syringes. I'm squeamy on these kind of I'm things. Willing. I think they should have taken up dentistry, self-dentistry. I'm sorry to say. Oh my God. All right, I want them to do it. He's dying for him to try it with... Is it on his neck? No, it's on the the fellow with the camera. <laughs> Some of our viewers might be super into it. This, this, this is guy a, with the this, this guy is with a the red hat procedure. Hold on, hold on. This guy knows what he's doing. You want to bet? Probably will be a success. That one and the hair, I, the hairline is throwing me off. It's like. Oh, come on. Can you fast what is this torch for? What is the torch for? I don't know. Can you go to the fast? Can you fast forward to the good part? It, the whole part. Oh. <laughs> do you see it? He's going to do it on the floor. No, he's going to sit on the floor. These Don't guys, stop it! These Keep guys may not be professional, Go. but they are certainly entertaining. Holy cow. There are I'm, all I'm, these things they could be doing, like I'm, redoing their wooden floors, fixing the place up. But no, he's going to get down on. on the floor where he's got the doggy yeah, bed. and Come on, do it. I also would oh, point out on. that this sofa looks like you picked it up on the side of the road. Okay, well, we're uh, not here for interior design. Uh oh. No, they didn't even wipe it with alcohol. Yes, that would be a good idea. Wait, that was a good patient, idea. What are they saying at the bottom? The, the patient, patient has, has become, become the, the doctor. But actually, he's the doctor. He's committing a crime, which is practicing medicine without a license. Right. He's only committing the crime of stupidity. Right. I'm committing the crime to let you keep stopping this. This is so good. Well, I was wondering that at the dentist, too. I'm like, so you guys use oxygen therapy. Why didn't you put the oxygen right before you put the uh, you repair in the mouth there? They repair the cavity. And they do the oxygen therapy on the mm -hmm. teeth. Uh, why didn't you do the oxygen right before? Like, right Look at before. this guy, like, intently listening. It seems critical to get it. Can you fast forward? No, uh, you, you're going to miss it if you fast forward. I think they're stalling because they're having second thoughts. No way. Which is good. Haven't you ever done this at home? See? Uh, I have. Safety is an illusion. Of course. You never drained a cyst? I don't get cysts. Oh, well. He's putting acupuncture needles in it. No, that's not a good idea. What are you doing? Don't yeah. do that. Stay away from the lungs. I underestimated the guy with the black hair. I'm going to cut like a really fine line and then just slightly go deeper until it's free. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I'm not a professional. All right, here we go. He knows he's not a professional. Let's just watch. Let's just watch. He knows he's not a professional. At least they have a clean blade. You don't... It's not clean anymore. He's holding it with gloves that are non-sterile gloves. He knows it's going to bleed. He's holding the... I mean, he's going slow. 
He is going in the right direction. In the middle line of the back, you want to go up and down. He just needs to push a little harder. Just If he pushes harder, it's going to pop into his goggles. I'll tell you. He's get, not getting anywhere because he's not going deep enough. No. I mean, he will be here all day at this rate. Just push it in. <laughs> well, it's better he goes slow. Oh. I didn't even see any blood. So. There's literally, is he touching it? I don't know. There we go. It's kind of funny that he's using goggles because he's protecting himself and not his patient. <laughs> I don't know how he can see anything. Yeah, because you're in the skin. You have it. You don't want to really pop the cyst. What you want to do is Get dissect the cyst. The cyst I know, sack but out. you think he's gonna do that? You think he's got the? I've been drinking a little. In pro That's probably a good idea. Do they mean the patient or the doctor? The other now he's going upside yeah. down with the knife. In general, you want to cut toward yourself, not away from yourself. We do have a little blood at least now. Thank you. Thank you, cameraman. Yes. <laughs> so if you kept going, what would you hit? All the way through? Yeah. What would you hit before you got to the spinal cord? I was just going to say, like, where do you want me to? Oh, my God. We just. We're losing him by the moment here, actually. you got to hold on. It's going to squirt out. You hit the guy in the goggles here in a second. Ah. Why can't he get it? Is he not so pushing? There, Why is he being so delicate? Well. Come on. Now he's pushing now he's, now he's getting some of the cyst contents out. So the cyst wall just consists of. The, I mean, I wish we got like a, like a, oh, look, they zoomed in. You might need a bigger hole to get. Now, if you were actually doing this properly, what you would do, I just want to explain. Oh, it's coming. So if these guys watch this video, what you did wrong was, once you make the skin incision, the skin is very thin. You want to elevate the skin on either side of the cyst so you see that glistening, white, shiny cyst uh, wall and dissect that down. It's roughly yeah. a uh, orb, a sphere, and dissect around that so that the whole thing will pop out like should, a little tiny you, robin egg. You should and, send them double hooks, you know? You should send them. Uh, I don't want to abet the crime here. Okay, I guess we lost Bridget. She just couldn't take any more, but let's finish this out. Yeah. Oh, I felt that. I'm inclined the whole room, Yeah. So, to be clear, what he's doing now is he's made, he's made an incision through the skin and then you have this big cyst like this, and there's a thin layer of skin on top of it. So he's made an incision through the skin, and he's squeezing on the cyst until, until the cyst just pops open and the contents of the cyst come out. And that's really not the right approach. The right approach would be to dissect between the skin and the cyst so that the whole cyst comes out with the wall of the cyst and the contents of the cyst. That way the, the contents of the cyst don't spill out into the wound you've created. You don't create as much inflammation and bleeding and you basically solve the problem. This way he'll take out the contents of the cyst. It'll go down even if it doesn't get infected. The cyst wall is still there so it'll continue to form sebaceous material and reform. Oh, he's getting some white pot. Now that's not pus. So what's coming out? Did you continue watching without me? All right, come back. So he's referring to the contents of the cyst as pus. I, okay. Don't try to give me a gold star now. I can't even believe it. I can't even you believe it. You are a gold it. star. But you did that. All right. <laughs> 
Now, the other thing you might want to do is put the knife down <laughs> while you're, while you're doing this. He needs to really... Why is he like doing that shaking thing? It's like just uh, because he's there. Because he's just gradually to, like, getting to come out. He's actually getting the cyst wall out now, which is great. Even though he didn't dissect between the skin and the cyst wall, I think he's getting the cyst yeah, wall out. Yeah, look at out. it. It's right there. <gasps> yeah, it looks like he's getting the cyst wall out. <laughs> And they're having a good time. And he's like, everyone's laughing. That's what men do to act like it's no big deal. Now I have a question. How is he going to dress this? Oh no, oh no, don't do that. Do not do that. What is he doing? He's scraping, okay, so. Why it's important to understand what he just did. This is a big mistake for those self-surgeons out there. He actually used the knife to scrape the contents of the cyst out of the cyst wall. No, you want to take the wall out. That's the thing that's the problem. That so just dumb. getting the cyst contents out isn't it. So let's see he, if he he's takes not done, the though. cyst wall out. He might take it out. This fellow with the beard doing the surgery and the goggles he, I underestimated him, I have to say. I underestimated him. He's wearing his mask. Him. He's trying to keep it clean, too, with the... With the paper towels? Yeah. <laughs> yeah he needs to go that... There you go. Here he goes again. Well, he's actually dissecting the cyst wall from the surrounding tissue, and he's only got a knife. He doesn't have any other surgical <laughs> instruments, so he's actually doing pretty good. Well, I mean, it was pretty close. It was. I mean, it was pretty nasty. It was pretty nasty. Oh, good. He put yeah. the knife down. You know what's lacking the what's lacking here is the a lot the basic there's a lot a there's lot a lack lacking. of yeah but if he if he had a basic understanding of sterility that would go a long way and if he had a basic understanding of the anatomy that would go well, a long it, way look at he's got it I don't think it's the cyst wall what he's doing is gradually manipulating out the uh, contents of the cyst Now he keeps he's rubbing his hands on the floor and then going back at it. You know, and here. You know, listen. He took his time. Look at what he's made at this point. They definitely have something to do. Don't you wish he had just even like tweezers? what they should do. That is the cis wall, Doctor Ronowitz. I don't think that's, it. is that the cyst yes, wall? It's, it's the end, tell. it's the end. It's like the bottom part. It was not comforting at all. I'm not convinced that it's a cyst wall, but you might be right. See, there's still stuff coming out, so. Well, he couldn't break it up under there. It's not like he's gonna. But it's not the wall of the cyst. So what I'm concerned about is what they're gonna do now. Put a band-aid on it? Mm, I suspect they'll just leave it open. See, he's still getting he's still getting sebaceous material yeah. out. The sebaceous material is keratin and cerumen, the proteins of the outer layer of the skin, in case you're wondering. It burned like the front of the gun, but it did eventually fall off again most of the way. Yeah. Um that sucks. Listen. So now what did he, what happened? Did he, <laughs> he got some stuff to clean. I mean, this man is not terrible. No, he's not He probably terrible. could work here. You know, 
He's trainable. He needs a little training and he needs to trim the beard. Are they going to irrigate now? They have, they said they had some um, a colloidal silver. Just go with the hydrogen peroxide. They're using a needle. Yeah. They're using a needle now? They didn't think to maybe start with the needle instead of the scalpel before? <laughs> well, they're not injecting his skin. All they're doing is... Maybe he'll get the, maybe he'll get the cyst wall out. We'll oh, now he's injecting it. Ooh, that's not smart. Uh, uh, I gotta go. Bridget, come back. I'm gonna see if we have patience. You can go to YouTube surgery school. Do you have any relationship with the consciousness of this organism? These are very spiritual guys. The consciousness of the organism. What they don't understand is there's nothing living here. The sebaceous material is just dead skin cells. Or just. A few, watch out for the knife! Oh, he's twisting around, the knife is on the floor, and that knife is still pretty sharp. And now we're examining the sebaceous material, and I don't really see a cyst wall. I doubt that they got the cyst wall out, but can't really tell for sure. All right, so, so far it was definitely a success. You know, we got to give it out to our peoples at Med, right? Med Pride? <laughs> yes. Our, uh, our sponsors, our proud sponsors at MedPride, making those badass number 10 syringes for us. No, number 10 blades. The badass syringes are probably made by somebody else. Your ass. They're scalpel. Yeah, yeah. That's why I had to say it was like, yeah, we cut in the, uh, we just scalpel. The syringes, uh, uh, we're someone else. We made the syringes. Have, yeah, the syringes would have been well, there. Not about the they finally caught on. The syringes. They finally the caught on. I think that I think the two guys, the surgeon and the assistant, are the ones who aren't drunk, and the patient is the one who is drunk. But this does not qualify as self-surgery. It's still not do-it-yourself surgery. It's it's more like amateur surgery. About squeezing out pus. Squeezing it out. About how wonderful it all is. And it's not pus. There may be pus there in a few more days. Well, I would give these guys an A plus for entertaining. I would give, give them an A plus for uh, putting their money where their mouth is. This guy put his own body on the line to let his, uh, his friends practice surgery on him for the sake of a YouTube probably and the sake of saving a few bucks by going to the clinic. And, uh, and uh, hopefully he healed up without getting any infection. And I think that he'll, he'll unfortunately have to eventually go to the doctor because I think that he didn't get the cyst wall out, so it'll reform. But uh, as long as he heals up okay without any infection, no harm, no foul. Um, and uh, I think that uh, if they want a little advice on how to do this uh, with a little less risk and a little more effectiveness next time around, uh, give me a call and I'll, I'll be happy to give you some pointers if you're going to do it anyway. Uh, it's better that you do it and not have a complication. But hold off on the appendectomies and the liver biopsies in the meantime till you get a little bit further along in your training. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I certainly did. I thought that was great. And I hope you visit their YouTube channel and subscribe to them because they seem like uh, three really nice guys and with a really good sense of humor uh, who um, are just trying to have a little fun and solve a problem. So, so good for you guys. See you all later from Moranowitz land.